Welcome back everybody. Last week we took out that beautiful 2019 488 Spider. Hopefully you stay tuned to the end of that video. But as promised, BG, what we got today? We got the two Urses, man. Urses, Urses, Urses. Got them Urses. 640 horsepower on the red one here. She's bone stock. This is actually one of our rental cars on our rental program. Uh, you can go to firstclassrise.net to rent this bad boy. It's about a thousand dollars a day to rent this thing, and man, that's a lot of fun. But over here, we got the wife's baby. It looks like baby blue, but she's actually called Blue Cephas, special edition, special color for this car. Got the AG Luxury, 23 by 10 and a half in the front, 23 by 12 and a half in the rear. She's sitting low. You can look at the difference in these two right here. We'll get some side-by-sides here in a little bit. But you said this bad boy's lower too. Stage two tune, fab speed exhaust on this thing. It's nasty. Yeah. And my wife drives this. Yeah, that's crazy. The wife drives this. The wife gets it. About a 700 horsepower pocket rocket. <laughs> Zero to 60 in three seconds stock. This one's probably touching two eight now with me driving. With, with me, me driving, driving. two eight. With her driving, it's about four and a half seconds, maybe. <laughs> driving her the blue cephas urus right now people get ask us a lot of questions like do you like driving this thing short answer is yes we love it biggest comparison i get it's a lamborghini so but it's an suv so how does it compare to like a you know a lamborghini supercar like a aventador or a huracan and i think it's like a huracan on steroids so it handles quite close to like a, a huracan you got that twin turbo v8 this one here is still tuned so it we're cranking, you know, 700 horsepower, and it's a lot of fun to drive. So one thing that's nice about it is it's comfortable. It's comfortable to drive, so you got a lot of room, uh, and you can still go fast. So handles great around the corners. Uh, we've taken it to a track before, and it, it, it performs great in the track. This one here has four driving modes. Uh, I generally keep it in sport mode or Corsa mode, one of the two. Strata is kind of like an economy uh, mode. I like hearing the exhaust. This has got that fab speed down to pipes. Uh, on it so it's rumbling and popping and that's what I love about this car so you get the sports car feel but you get the luxury of a nice comfortable SUV so you get the best of both worlds literally you could take this trip with a family of five it's got seating for five in here you could take it from here to I would say a three or four hour trip is probably the maximum I'd want to go in this thing uh, with a family of five family of four though you can go pretty much wherever you want ton of luggage space in the back ton of room in the back seat for the for two people got a center armrest so it's comfortable back there as well ton, tons and tons of room back there They look real similar on the outside. Let's 
go over a few of the differences between this stock 22 Lamborghini Urus and the not stock 22 Lamborghini Urus. Let's start with these wheels over here. These are made by AG. The story is there's only two sets in the world of these wheels. The story I've been told, this beautiful blue Cephas Urus right here, and then also Kim Kardashian's Urus. Also, you can see that the stance of these is a little different. This blue Urus is uh, lowered about two inches. One thing you can't see, but you can definitely hear, and you'll hear it throughout this video, we do have the fab speed down pipes on this bad boy. She pops, crackles, and this makes a lot of noise going down the street. So satisfying. Revan has a little more clearance in it until it's not lowered. This one is bone stock. Only thing we've done to this car is tint the front windows on this thing, but you can tell that the stance is not quite as low as this one here. Same feature, same motor. Still the uh, twin turbo V8 in this bad boy. 670 horsepower in the red one. The blue one has a DME stage two tune. A little over 700 horsepower now. Take a look at this instrument panel here. We have two huge touch panels here. All the climb control on the bottom one, and then your navigation and your uh, audio and control things like that on the top touch screen right here. Very easy to use, very easy to function. Still have a, uh, a uh, volume knob, which is, I love a volume knob. Some of these new luxury SUVs don't have volume knobs, which I, I still love them. Uh, still a large glove box here. Uh, here is our drive modes. We kind of mentioned that earlier. This 2022 Urus has uh, six drive modes. Strata, Sport, Corsa, Sabia, Terra, and Neve. Um, like I said, I like Sport and Corsa. I don't see any reason to put in anything else other than Sport and Corsa. It's got an uh, eco mode over here. I'm, I don't even know why they seem to have got that. I'm, I'm not, if you're driving Lamborghini, you don't care about fuel mileage. I do not care about fuel mileage. I don't care how much fuel I put in this thing. When I get this thing, I want to drive it like I stole it every single time. So that's what it's made for. Moving over here, you got a nice steering wheel. We'll go a few differences between this one here and the other Urus. Um, it's got power tilt as well as telescopic, which is very, very nice. You can be a large guy and drive this thing. I've got guys that have been 6'5", 6'6", six, 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 get in this thing, and they're uh, extremely comfortable in this thing. Seat lowers all the way down as well, or it raises. So you've got multiple different positions for your seats, your steering wheel, so you can drive this thing really, really, really comfortable. Um, it does have a heads-up display, which is really hard to show, but we do have a heads-up display. It's very simple. It just shows you uh, how fast you're going and as well as the uh, like the speed limit that, that's tracked by the GPS in here. Um, steering wheel controls, we have our paddle shifts right here. These are an automatic, but you can also put it in a manual mode by pushing this button right here. Puts it in manual mode, so we can paddle shift up and then down on the left hand side over here. We also have our uh, steering wheel controls for our audio uh, as well as our phone for our Bluetooth. Over on the left we can control the uh, the screen, uh, different modes for our, our uh, instrument cluster right here as well. Lamborghini did a really really good job on these uh, custom seats so this is one of the options in this car. It's got the uh, black leather with the red stitching throughout the seats as well as the red Lamborghini logo in the headrest which is a nice little touch. As you can see, one of the major differences between the red Urus and the blue Urus is the uh, the color of the leather. This is the a brown leather interior. Still has heated and cooled seats. Still have the custom stitching in the uh, in the headrest with the Lamborghini logo. But one other major difference that you can see right off the bat is the carbon fiber package up here. This is a full carbon fiber interior package for this vehicle. Uh, they're on the door panels, a full door, a dash. Um, still both have the same touch panels just like the other one, same instrument cluster. One other major, major difference, this one only has four driving modes. It has the Strata, the Sport, the Corsa, and the Neve. I'm not sure why this one just this one just didn't come option with the other two. So we talked a little bit about the audio, how bad it was in the Ferrari, but this Lamborghini here has the Bang & Olufsen stereo in it, which is very, very nice. 
Got these two front tweeters up in the front that are aimed right at your front cabin up here, which creates very good uh, sound quality up front. Yeah.